Okay, everyone, thanks for coming in. Obviously a big day here at the club. As I've said many... Hey, guys, you in the back, can you squeeze over a little bit? We've still got people trying to file in from the hallway. Just tighten up, squeeze in. Okay, thanks. As I was saying, most of you guys know that throughout my career in the golf business, I've always been a big believer that the most important employee at any golf club is the beverage cart girl. You know, you work hard to identify and hire the right girl, and then you build the rest of your team around her. This is, in my view, Club Management 101. Uh, many of you know that when we lost Chastity last November to a multi-level marketing firm, it was one of the darkest days of my career. But with spring comes renewal, and I am pleased to announce that I have selected Miss Anastasia Adams as our beverage cart girl. I'll take some questions. Yeah, she was actually supposed to be here today and obviously feels bad that she'll miss it, but she texted in sick about an hour ago. Uh, I did notice that, that she posted a pic on Instagram at about 1.20 this morning from backstage at a Travis Scott concert in Omaha. So, so she must have fallen ill sometime between then and now. Uh, in fairness to her, she did tell me during the interview process that she calls in sick a lot. <laughs> well, it's so easy for you guys in the media to say, what about her, or why didn't you hire her? You know, I can't hire everybody, okay? I wish I could. You know, I think a great example of that is Tiffany Timmons, who, who made a really strong impression especially late in the process, and, and truth be told, there's probably 20 clubs in town that would hire Tiffany today on the spot. She had tools, but, but she wasn't elite, in my opinion, and that's what I'm looking for. I think at the end of the day, Anastasia separated herself from other finalists like Tiffany in really two key areas, uh, the first being the role play portion of the interview process, and, and the other being the the written essay portion where she wrote about how she thought the, the Me Too movement has really gotten completely out of control and how excited she is to see the, the pendulum start to swing back the other way. Yeah, they're real. No, I don't have a set timetable. I'd, I'd like to get her on the course by March 1st if possible so she can kind of start to get her feet wet, but but we really need to get her up and running quick because she's requested vacation March 14th through April 10th to go to Cancun with her ex-boyfriend and his roommate. So, so we need to get her going. Anything else? Okay. 